Welcome to the Daily Word for the season of Pentecost. Today's reading is from the book of Exodus, chapter 33, verses 7 to 11, and chapter 34, verses 5 to 9, and verse 28. Now Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, far off from the camp. He called it the tent of meeting. And everyone who sought the Lord would go out to the tent of meeting, which was outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would rise and stand, each of them, at the entrance of their tents, and watch Moses until he had gone into the tent. When Moses entered the tent, the pillar of cloud would descend and stand at the entrance of the tent, and the Lord would speak with Moses. When all the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, all the people would rise and bow down, all of them at the entrance of their tents. Thus the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face, as one speaks to a friend. Then he would return to the camp. But his young assistant, Joshua, son of Nun, would not leave the tent. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name, the Lord. The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, the Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness keeping steadfast love for the thousandth generation, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, yet by no means clearing the guilty, but visiting the iniquity of the parents upon the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generation. And Moses quickly bowed his head towards the earth and worshipped. He said, If now I have found favour in your sight, O Lord, I pray let the Lord go with us. Although this is a stiff-necked people, pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for your inheritance. He was there with the Lord for forty days and forty nights. He neither ate bread nor drank water. And he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. This is the word of the Lord. Moses, the Intercessor Moses led a most legendary life, whether it was his birth, his call by God, his battle of wits with the Egyptian pharaohs, or in leading the Israelites to cross the Red Sea at a most critical moment. His every action left us hanging with bated breath. Moses was regarded as a national hero by the Israelites. Besides being steadfast in delivering the Israelites out of Egypt, he was also a patient and wise man who understood God's will. He had the heart of a simple shepherd. Unwittingly, he became the conduit between God and the Israelites. When we read Exodus, we are very clear that God had heard the voice of the Israelites. He had pity on them and sent Moses to lead them out of slavery. God performed numerous miracles in Egypt. Unfortunately, the Israelites were stubborn and turned against God. 
even though they witnessed God's acts, they still refused to believe in him, thus arousing his anger. However, Moses relentlessly sought for God's forgiveness, praying for his own people and beseeching God not to forsake them. When the Israelites repeatedly offended God, Moses was worried. He set up a tent some distance away from the camp so that they could carve out a special space to quietly focus on seeking God's will and to clearly listen to God's commands. The scripture said, God spoke to Moses like speaking to a friend. When we carefully read the scripture, we discovered that Moses was not talking to God about his own affairs, but was tactfully persuading God not to forsake the Israelites. Moses knew very well that God is a jealous God and a just God who does not ignore transgressions. So Moses knew that God had every reason not to look after the Israelites. However, Moses understood God. He knew that God is also a merciful God. So he boldly bargained with God, beseeching him not to withhold his loving kindness despite their rebelliousness. The reason that Moses could speak directly to God was not just because he was chosen by God, but maybe it was also because God appreciated Moses's compassionate heart. Although Moses was angry with the stubbornness of the Israelites, he still tried to stir and guard them, begging for God's forgiveness. God also appeared in front of Moses, underlying that he is a merciful God and a faithful God. If only the Israelites would truly repent, God would forgive their iniquities. Over and over again, Moses tried to use reasoning and emotion to persuade God not to forsake the Israelites. Dear brothers and sisters, are you moved by Moses' profound reverence for God and his love for his people? Moses knew full well the weaknesses and stubbornness of the Israelites. He also knew that he did not have the power to change them. But deep in his heart, he knew that the merciful and loving God would keep his promises, stay with them, and guide them. That was why Moses never gave up praying for them with a pure and earnest heart. Other than God's providence, the Israelites need to be thankful that they had someone who constantly kept watch over them and prayed for them. Let us have a time of reflection. Do we know the temperament of God, knowing that he is a kind and loving God who keeps his promises? How is that a reminder to the way in which we should live our lives? Moses set up a special space to communicate with God. Do we have a special space and time to meet with God? Can we emulate Moses' perseverance in praying for the various groups that we care for? Let us pray. Dear Lord, you are a loving and faithful God. You are also slow to anger. 
remind us always to examine our lives. Forgive us our trespasses. Rejuvenate our lives, and move us to pray for the needs of the various groups that we care for, making us the humble and loyal watchmen. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.